Now, I would like to take this moment to introduce Paul Morales. Uh, he's actually broadcasting straight out of the Epson Solution Center in California. And he was really instrumental in helping us coordinate this webinar. Paul. All right, thank you, Bob. Uh, thanks for having us on. We certainly appreciate you allowing us to join you on your webinar and talk a little bit about our new printer. So uh, as you mentioned earlier, I am Paul Morales, product manager here at Epson, focusing on F-series products, including our DTG line. And that's what we're here to talk about today is our all new SureColor F2270 printer. Uh, rather than just sit here and rattle off some features, what we're going to do is actually show this printer in action. And so while we watch this print, we can talk about some of the improvements and enhancements that we've made that will make this much easier for you to use. So we're going to start off by printing on um, a digital transfer film. So I'm going to walk around the front over here and we're gonna send our job on through. You can see we have an all new touchscreen control panel that you can very easily see what jobs you have running, the number of copies that you need to print. We've also moved our controls down here. So we have an ergonomic control design. So no longer do you need to reach over the platen to send your jobs. This button will light up in blue, allowing us the opportunity to be ready to print. Now, another cool thing that we've done is you'll notice that we have a flat top cover design. And underneath those covers, we have bright LED lights to make it very easy for you to see the print in action. So when we're printing on film, what we're doing is we're printing the CMYK followed by the white ink layer first, and then we're going back and we're printing the white above this. Now what's great about this, and we'll talk a little bit more when we get into uh, the software, is we have an all new Garment Creator 2 that will drive this printer. And already enabled within the software is the ability to produce a digital transfer films. So it'll make it nice and easy right out of the box for anybody to be able to print directly onto garments or directly onto film with relative ease. So as this print finishes off, we can remove it from the platen, and then we can take it over to our powder applicator, and then we can complete the process. And so there's our first print on the digital transfer film. We'll go ahead and set it off to the side here. And then we're going to switch right over to garments. Now, one thing you'll notice here is we have a great quick load hanger platen system to make it very easy for you to load garments quickly efficiently and straight and centered to ensure that you get aligned and good prints the first time. So we're switching over to dark garments and you notice that there was no adjustment necessary for the platen. And this is thanks to our garment thickness optimization sensors. So when we press that print button, whether we're printing on digital transfer film or we're printing onto a garment, the sensors underneath the cover will detect anything that's loaded on that platen. And then the print heads inside the carriage will actually adjust to the appropriate height. So it's not the platen itself that's moving. The platen itself does not move at all. It stays completely stationary. There's no need to adjust it whatsoever. The print heads will do the work with the, with the sensors and then the job takes care of itself. So it's kind of like having autofocus for shirts. And this is very advantageous on the hybrid print system when you wanna switch seamlessly between digital transfer films over to garments, back and forth, whatever the production requirements are. The other great part about having a hybrid system is you're drastically minimizing waste when you are printing on film because you're only printing what you need and not using up any film that you don't. So all... the, the, the platen doesn't move at all. So if you're gonna run a thicker material or anything, uh, just, just wanna make sure, cause people are pretty familiar with your current line of products, so. Yeah, so there's no manual adjustment necessary when switching between different types of applications, but you still have the option to raise or lower the platen. If you're using, let's say third party uh, legacy uh, platen attachments, like hat and shoe platens. So that's one of the nice advantages of this unit is 
for all of those early adopters of the F2000 and the current users of the F2100 series, all of the platins that they have bought and are, have been using, they can use on this system as well, which is very Perfect. great. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're gonna switch over to our next shirt. And then we'll send that one off to print as well. So thanks to the processing power of Garment Creator 2, as well as the printer, you can see that the prints start much more quickly than they ever did before. So a lot less downtime in between prints, faster processing of jobs over to the printer. And when we're talking about CMYK colors, we have an all new Ultra Chrome DG2 ink set with added clarity and vibrancy, especially in the CMYK ink. So when you're printing on dark shirts, light shirts, anything in between, you'll see that improved clarity and color consistency. Another thing that we've done is we've thrown in an all new Precision Core Micro TFP print head. And this is about 20 to 25% larger than the previous print head that was found in the 2100. So you're gonna get increased print speed without sacrificing print quality. Now, another cool feature as part of these precision core print heads is a feature known as nozzle verification technology. Essentially, it's a self-aware print head. So while you're printing, the machine will detect in real time the health of each and every one of those nozzles. And if it detects that there are any clogs anywhere, it will actually replace it with another nozzle that's working all while you continue printing. The machine will also actively work on cleaning that nozzle and purging it out while you are printing. So you never have to stop the machine to perform cleanings and get a good test print back and pick your production back up. The machine will take care of that for you. So that's what we're referring to when we're talking about a self-aware head. And it's very advantageous technology to have. Take a look at this one right here. Mm. Now, in speaking about the inks, we have an all new ink set, as I mentioned, the Ultra Chrome DG2 ink. But one other thing that we've done that makes the inks brand new and unique is we've done away with the cartridge system. And now we have an all new ink pack system. So we have 800 milliliter ink packs, which is about a 70% less landfill waste, less frequent changes when you're changing inks when you need to. So maximizing your uptime and minimizing your downtime. And so we have CMYK, we have two whites over here, and then we also have a maintenance liquid that assists in performing the different maintenance features on the machine. Now, in talking about Garment Creator 2, a nice added bonus to that is we've added four times the input resolution. So you'll see much more added clarity in your high resolution images, photographs, a high detail logos and designs. So you can especially take advantage of the new Ultra Chrome DG2 ink set. Now, in talking about warranty, the machine comes with a one-year limited warranty, but there are service plans available that you can extend your coverage for up to a total of five years. So you have those options. Now, what's great about the inks, uh, last thing that I didn't mention earlier, was included in the box with every printer will be a full set of 800 milliliter ink packs for every color that you need. So these are not initial uh, ink sets that have a smaller capacity. These are the full capacity inks that will come right in the box. We have a question. You sleeved the platen. Do you still recommend this with the garment thickness optimization? So the beauty of the garment thickness optimization is it's entirely up to the user how they prefer to load their garments. So they can choose to sleeve them. They can place the garments on top of the platen. Some users like to apply the grip pad onto the platen. Generally, you would thread or sleeve your shirts in that manner, but the nice part is you have options. So whatever is great for you and what works with your workflow, you can go with that. And uh, we had a question from a customer about how much time did it take uh, to print the shirt uh, Paul just did? So do you okay, have so approximate? We... Yeah. yeah, so so we did a couple of shirts. And so when we're talking about print speed, and I'll bring these shirts back on camera so everyone can see. Uh, when we're talking about print speed, we're referring to a full size graphic on what's included with the printer, the medium platen size, which is 14 inches wide by 16 inches tall. So when we're talking about full size graphic, armpit to armpit, 
collar to belt buckle, dark garments with a white underbase and CMYK, full size graphics. You're looking at approximately upwards of 20 dark garment shirts per hour. If we're talking about light garments, if you're printing on the white shirt or let's say some light colors where you're not pre-treating, you're just printing on uh, the CMYK inks, then you're looking at upwards of about 65 shirts per hour. So you can really crank up uh, the print speed on the light garments. Fantastic. Um, Paul, can you explain what is the process of applying the powder for the DTF transfer? So actually, I think this would be a great question for you guys to answer since you have offer a wide variety of uh, DT film solutions. So Bob, you want to take that one? Yeah, I mean, uh, there is a process, uh, you know, there are shakers. So you have automated systems out there. You've got, uh, you know, we've we started off with a bin and powder um, as our shaker. Um, we always recommend using masks and gloves. Um, we do sell a curing oven uh, that you can use to actually um, heat the film uh, before um, and after the printing process. Um, so uh, we have the curing oven, and then we also have uh, the Hotronics uh, heat press, which we use in our shop. Um, we also have Geonite as well um, to do the final transfer. So, <clears throat> so we have instructions on this, and I do have those instructions in uh, PowerPoint. So if somebody does want to reach out to us or reach out to your sales uh, team member, uh, we can actually go through and uh, send those instructions over to you. They have actually suggestions for temperature and and information like that. So, because uh, I don't have all of that in front of me, but I think that that I know that document will be helpful. So, um, another question is, do you find that you need to secure the DTF film to the platen when printing? A lot of people have different methods of doing this, whether it be putting a little piece of tape down or applying a little bit of static or maybe spritzing a little bit of water on the platen. Sometimes even just loading and unloading shirts creates enough of a charge that the film can be held down. Any amount of surface tension on there will, will hold it down properly. Most of the time, I just place the film right on top of the platen and then I hit print and off we go. Excellent. Can you talk briefly about maintenance on this machine? Uh, so how does that work? Yeah, so with maintenance, and we can actually go to a, another camera shot so that we can show you something that's on top of the cover. So right above the touchscreen control panel, there's actually a QR code, which you can see here right on the right-hand side of your screen. And anybody can take their phone out, scan the QR code, it'll pull the guide right up so that you can find any information that you need to on how to perform different procedures. But what's more is if you're going through any maintenance processes or you're changing consumables, you will have on screen step by step instructions on exactly what to do. Part numbers for the different consumables that may be required, like the fabric wiper and so on. And so all of that will be right there on the screen, as well as the ability to scan with the QR code. So we talked a little bit earlier about having the maintenance liquid in here with the fabric wiper cassette. You're only responsible for maintenance about five minute procedure once per month. So the machine really does an efficient job of taking care of itself. Once per month. So that's a lot of uptime for that, that equipment. Absolutely. And then <laughs> as production rates uh, and quantities change, you know, users can certainly, you can't over clean the machine. So. Right. I kind of do it as needed, but minimal requirement about once per month. Okay, excellent. Um, do you expect uh, customers will be able to use their same pre-treat ratios for the F2100 with this DG2 ink? So the nice part about our pre-treat is there has been no changes made to the pre-treat. And actually the white ink, same chemistry. So the same way that those work together, there's absolutely no change. So the only time that I really play around with ratios in pre-treat is when I'm testing out new garments and new applications or maybe new print modes or things like that. But we really designed this whole system to be as easy and seamless as possible for not just new users, but also existing legacy users that are looking to upgrade. Perfect. So, um... 
I think, oh, um, let's see. Uh, is the waste ink process the same as the F2100? Not sure exactly what they mean by that. If, if they mean that, is there a waste bottle on the machine? Yep, there is a waste bottle on every printer. Okay. And how much white ink control is in the new GC? Uh, can it be fine-tuned? Just like the existing versions of Garment Creator, you still have all of those controls, plus additional controls I mentioned earlier, four times the resolution and processing power. You can set your input resolution now to 600 by 600 DPI to really take advantage of the added clarity and consistency of the Ultracrome DG2 ink set. There's also some new color profile modes, like our vivid color profile mode, which kind of takes the saturation and brightness level and contrast and boosts it up again. So uh, you still have all the same controls that you're familiar with, uh, plus some new added features. Perfect. And this may be the last question. <clears throat> Feel free to get your questions in now. Um, but does the white ink need to be agitated? And if so, how often? Well, so any printer on the market that has white ink, yep, you got to agitate it. But one thing that we did is since at Epson, we have our own chemists, we can have them design ink however we want and however we need. So in our ink, we have a special coating that prevents those pigments from getting clogged. Furthermore, right in the ink packs, we have a filter built in plus additional filters throughout the system to keep the unit running efficiently and maximizing your uptime, minimizing your downtime. So you'll still have to take inks out and agitate them, but that's true with any unit that you have out there. Although we figured out multiple other ways to keep the machine running. Perfect. So I think that's it. Um, Paul, I'd like to really thank you for your help uh, coordinating this event. I hope that all of the attendees will walk away from this webinar more knowledgeable. Please go to the chat area and click on those links, save them, highlight them, uh, and, uh, and know that we're here to support you. IT Supplies um, is a full service reseller and we can support you from the films to the inks to the printers, uh, whatever your needs may be, uh, we're here to help. So, please contact your IT supplies representative with any questions that you may have about this printer. And again, uh, the printer will be available in August. Please register to get on the wait list right now. Thanks again, and we'll talk to everyone soon. Take care.